Join me for Trash to Treasure Thursday today as I show you how to take some simple wooden pieces and turn them into something really spectacular for your dollhouse display. This can go in any scale and are just a whole lot of fun to do and you probably already have all the materials in the house. So join me and see how easy this project is. Okay, this is a super fun project and I did get this one online. It's funny, I had watched the technique being done with fingernails a couple of years ago and decided it was too messy to do on nails and I never made the connection with doing it with crafts. I don't know why I didn't connect that and figure, hey, I can do this with minis. But I was looking online at some videos from a craft, one of the craft channels and I'll put a link to her channel and to the specific video in the blog post. So read the blog post for the link. Um, and she was doing, and this guy was doing beads and napkin rings. And I thought, oh, if you can do beads and napkin rings, you can do minis. So I got to thinking, okay, what can I do? So I, I pulled out some wooden shapes. A couple of things. I, my rule was, for this Trash to Treasure project, I wasn't going to go to town to buy anything. So this is all stuff I had on hand. For our demo, I'm doing this little vase. Um, I think this is actually the wooden shape, I think it's called a candle cup, but I'm not sure. And all I've done ahead of time is I, I put it onto a golf tee. And this time I decided to, and I've been doing this lately, I'm, I'm, you're going to see this in a couple of different videos, I've been using hot glue to put my things on when I need to, especially here where I want to dip it in water. Um, the blue tack or the fun tack sometimes lets go at inopportune times. And hot glue, worst case scenario, I heat it with the um, heat gun for a few seconds and I can peel it off. And so far I have popped some of these on and off a couple of times with no issues. So I hot glued it, just filled the top, just put a squirt of hot glue so the top divot part was filled with hot glue, stuck my item on, and let it cool for a few minutes. Then I base coated all of these with white craft paint because I wanted a white base. I was going to try black and I forgot. I may off camera after the video is done do one in black and put a picture of that at the end also. And then you need a little cup of water. Uh, use a disposable cup. This is going to make a mess. You'll need lots of paper towels, lots of toothpicks. You'll need nail polish remover to clean up your fingers. I found that out and you need nail polishes. Now I find I like three colors per item the best. I think that always works. Threes in anything in art and crafts looks better to the human eye anyway and with this three colors it's just about perfect. Now I'm starting with a cup that's already been used because I want to show you something. When you start with a fresh cup of water no problem but when you after it's been used once or so once it gets the skin on it. You need to make sure. Let the nail polish dry a few minutes and just pull that skin off the top. Now it's ready to go. Got a little floater there. Then you can change. A few things I noticed and I'll put more of these comments in the blog post. Speed dry nail polishes I found for me didn't work very well. So what you need to do, you've got your cup of water, you've got your item ready to go, you've got to work pretty quickly we're going to drip some nail polish in here. and If it sinks, it's okay as long as it floats back to the top. If it doesn't float to the top, start over with a fresh container of water. I found that it. I can only use these so many times before I had to get fresh water. Some brands of polish work better. I actually found the best look, although I'm not using very many LA colors in this 
particular one because I didn't have the colors I wanted for this piece. LA Colors from Dollar Tree. I'm going to put a little more of this red in. Seem to work better than any of my expensive colors. So you got to love that. So if you don't, aren't like me and have a ridiculous number of nail polish colors and you need to go buy some, go to, go to Dollar Tree and get LA Colors or one of their other dollar brands. They work fine. And I like a little bit of white in this. Now, you've got drips. And it's just fun to watch this. Kind of reminds me of watching a lava lamp go through. Now, if this starts to move as a sheet and doesn't move, doesn't marble, dump it out. It means you've got too much skin in there. Get it moved around. It's going to glop on there. Don't worry about that. I like to wipe it off on a paper towel. Take this and dip once. Dip, kind of move it around. You're trying to pick up the different colors. And there we are. It's marbled. Isn't that cool? If it doesn't cover well in the first coat, let it dry completely, peel this nail polish out, and do a second fresh coat after everything is dried. All I've done to these is I've coated them all with just some inexpensive clear nail polish. I actually keep a bottle of LA Colors or one of the other cheap Dollar Tree nail polishes in clear. I keep that on my work table. It, it's great for doing just touch-ups and for doing little quick projects. But I think these turned out... So this one I'm not as thrilled with, but I, I can see it in certain situations. It would be... I think with a plant in it, actually. I'm going to like it. The way it is now, I don't. This one, I freaking love. I think this one turned out so neat. And I think what I'm going to do is find, like, some kind of a jewelry finding, like a bell cap, and set it, glue it on top of. Now, to get these off. Oh, and this one. This is, remember our Avon lipstick covers that I did with nail polish before? I decided to try one in here, and it looks really neat. This is maybe a better way to do those than I did before. Just another way to paint them. And that was with the same blue and white and another blue, actually. I did not bother, by the way, to write down any of the color names, so, sorry. Alright, so I'm going to take this, and I don't know what possessed me to do the block, but I really like this, and I can't wait to figure out a place to use it. I think it turned out really neat. Just pop in there, and if it's got a little bit left, the hot glue is still there. My nail polish is not completely dry on here, so I have to be a little careful. But if it doesn't want to come off, we'll just I'll just hit it with... Um, there. See? Just came off. That's so nice and it kept it on there very securely while I was working. I will get a picture of all of these pieces once the last one I did there is dry and I've colored, clear coated it. I'll get a picture, but I just love how these turned out and it's a lot of fun. It's just fun just watching the nail polishes in the water. I, of course, I, maybe I'm just easy to amuse. But I hope you enjoyed this Trash to Treasure project. Be sure to read the blog post because I will link you to Mona's channel and to the uh, bead video that she did that inspired this. And be sure and check us on Facebook and I'll talk to you later. Bye.